though. You're on Fenway Park dirt right look now. Look at this. You this want is, some? Look at that. This is how well, hey, look at us with all our like. Babe hey, Ruth might have played with Ed Dirt at one you point want some? in time. Like, <laughs> you want some? A thousand years ago. Yeah, you were. Oh, thousand. Thousand. <laughs> you were very. Cool. Did you see him when he played? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him when I played. <laughs> Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Fireball Review Channel. Well ladies and gentlemen, I have been to baseball's oldest park, Fenway Park, two times in my life. I saw a double header between the Orioles and the Red Sox back in 2018. The Red Sox won both of those games and went on to win the World Series that year, but I have never attended a game at baseball's oldest park when my favorite team, the Angels, are taking on the Red Sox, but that will be changing over the next three days. Now I gotta be honest with you folks, I am really throwing caution to the wind going to this series because every time the Angels take on the Red Sox it's like watching one of those Instagram videos where a snake owner likes to show their snake uh, eating you know they throw a mouse in there they throw a rat in there and usually those videos never usually go very well for the rat or the mouse well every time the Angels take on the Red Sox it's a little bit like watching one of those videos because they never play well against the Red Sox at all. Then after that series I will be headed to Chicago to see the Cubbies take on the Dodgers. Now I hate the Dodgers with a passion. Anybody who's watched my channel for any length of time knows this. However, I love Wrigley Field. It's my favorite stadium and hopefully the Cubbies can give the Dodgers a run for their money. I wouldn't bet on it but we'll see what happens. But what the hell let's go to Boston shall we? And voila, my teleportation skills are still unmatched, ladies and gentlemen, but a quick journalistic note. I have arrived at my hotel room here in Boston, Massachusetts, and not to brag, but look at this view, guys. There is Fenway Park right there. That is the scoreboard in center field, and then off to the left here, there is the green monster right there where my finger is. We are going to be sitting on the monster or standing on the monster or hanging off the green monster. But the key to the series over the next three days is containing this man right here. This is the Red Sox mascot. He too is known as the green monster and he's a very nefarious character, folks. Looks can be deceiving. This man, I know for a fact, puts Icy Hot in the jocks of all the visiting clubhouse players and he must be contained over the next three days. As we got a baseball themed elevator in this hotel, okay? We got, uh, look at, we got Bernie Williams here. We got uh, Vlad Guerrero there. I guess they took this Fred Lynn, they took this glass here, and uh, I don't want to get out of this elevator, so I have to keep pressing the door open, but uh, look at this, all these players, John Smoltz right there, that's pretty cool, Jason Veritek. David Ortiz, they took this glass and they had these guys sign all these these uh, little slots here in the glass. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, we made it to Fenway Park for the first game of the three-game series. We're going to take a little tour first of Fenway Park. It should be very exciting. It's a lovely day. It's not raining. Now, this is the green monster seats right here. They put these in a few years back, but right across the street is a parking lot. And sometimes for some bizarre reason people will still park in this lot even though their cars might be slightly damaged by a home run so there's some angel fans here what a few of us yeah, i'm an angel fan i'm here we go the angels are warming up thank you Cap, are we playing today? This is what we're playing today, right? I think so. Yeah. All right, I thought we were playing the Patriots. Fireball. Otani's yeah. hitting. Is he's he? Not, yes. He's nice. Hitting. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. We have a chance. Yeah. All right. This guy right here. You're on, you're on Fenway Park Dirt right look now. Look at this. You this want is, some? Look at that. This is how well, hey, look at us with all our like. Babe hey, Ruth might have played with Ed Dirt at one you point want in time. Like, <laughs> you want some? A thousand years ago. Yeah, you were. Oh, <laughs> you were very cool. Did you see him when he played? Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't see him when I played. <laughs> They let us on the field, and it's the Red Sox. Yeah. The Angels left. I know. The minute we, they let us on the field. I know. I was hoping to give Otani the biggest bear hug of his life. But. Yeah. And then he would have got the restraining order back on against you. And No. 
No. Yes. Yes. He wouldn't do that. Yes. No, he wouldn't do that. You, you sicko. <laughs> Sweater is, uh, he likes his music a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's getting down. Bro. Where's Verdugo, bro? Yeah, this. Right this man can dance. He's he got some moves. Was out here. I didn't think you had any oh, rhythm, no, Sweater. I, I know, I know. No rhythm, right? No. Nah, you're not bad, you're not bad. There you go, there you go. Just keep your hands in. That's the, that's the secret. Here's Red Sox manager Alex Cora. He's uh, barking instructions to his players before tonight's contest. And, uh, Sharing some strategy with this man right here. There you go. Hey Gabe, white shoes was a bad choice, my friend. I know, right? I'm I mean, dirty. the one day they're gonna get dirty. You go to Fenway Park and you're on the clay. You're wearing white shoes. Yeah. On, bad man. fashion choice. Bad fashion. Uh, uh, Shortsy, what's your opinion of Fenway Park? I mean, you're you're right here on the field, my friend. <laughs> Uh, it's very small. It's very unique. I yeah. like it a lot. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. nice, right? It's pretty. But it is very small, and I think you know yeah. a lot about small stuff there. Bro. Oh, man. How dare you make such an accusation against me? Accusation? My, hand, my hands are not small for the last time, you fool. <laughs> We're going to be in these seats a little bit later on tonight. But uh, a, little, a little quieter experience right now. So I think you know what I've noticed? You know what I've noticed? Like all the Angel fans are here. Like we've assembled like the Avengers. You know why? It's great. It's because we are excited and everybody else went back to the hotel. Like I can see them. Look at them walking right there. What a They're bunch the of bridge over there. pansies. Jeff. That loser Jeff. Uh, uh, Jeffrey has got a lot of problems. You're Cap. Cap, you are a champion, sir. You know that? You are a champion because it says so right here on your shirt. Yeah, right. This uh, gentleman here, uh, this Angel fan, he's trying to go to all 162 games for the Angels this year. He's a TikTok star. I'm not really sure who he is, but he is a man of some importance. And Mobo, uh, can you explain what we were just talking, discussing here? Very all important right, topic. So would you rather be a punching bag for Mike Tyson or take... Three Nolan Ryan fastballs to the dome. If you guys ever come to Fenway Park, make sure to watch your steps because there's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of construction going on. I almost just killed myself just now. Uh, Mobo would have had to perform CPR, which would have been the worst moment of my life. I would have loved to resuscitate you. Here's a fun fact, ladies and gentlemen. The guy to the right there is Phil Nevin. He was drafted by the Astros ahead of a guy named Derek Jeter. Anthony Rendon just hit a home run BP ball right there onto the roof. See it right there. There it is. That is a long home run. He cleared the street here. And of course, the monster. This gentleman right here, Anthony Rendon, is he's a danger to society today. To society. He hit that ball onto the roof and then he hit this gentleman here who was eating his pizza, but he didn't drop his pizza. He didn't want the ball, he wanted his pizza. The one that is Red that is dedication, Jeffrey. The one Red Sox fan doesn't throw their pizza at somebody. You remember that guy? I know, oh yeah, that was a that was absolutely classic. classless. Oh, oh, classic! Well, oh, yeah, it was classic. It was classic, actually. I don't, I know, I don't condone such behavior, but uh, that was pretty funny. There he is, the starting pitcher for tonight for Noah Syndergaard. So this is the seat for tonight. Uh, well, at least for a couple innings, we're going to be in these seats. And uh, on top of the monster, there's Otani warming up down there. Batting second, the center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. And third, the designated hitter, number 17, Shohei Otani. Robert, uh, tell them what the usher just told us. Well, the usher told us that we can't reach over this line here. Yeah. That's in play. But as long as it's over, we can catch one here. Yeah. But I uh, can't go over. No, no Jeffrey Mayers. Any no. any Yankee fans will know that. 1996 ALCS, yeah. right? Tony or, Tarasco? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah, there we go. Let's <laughs> go. Rafael Devers, a solo a home run, one nothing Red Sox, wah, wah, or should I say waka waka, since Michael Waka is the starting pitcher this evening. Rob, we were discussing uh, last time we were here on the Monster, 
What is that garage door in center field? What what goes on in there? I, my prediction was it was, a, it was like an opera house in there. I think that's where they hide the polar bears. That's where they keep okay. keep them and bathe them, feed them. It's yeah. not an opera house. I know that. I, I'm guessing it's a yoga studio. It's like a, one of these uh, new wave type yoga studios. Well, the polar bears teach the yoga. Designated hitter number 17, Shohei Otani. This guy here, this guy here is wearing a Yankee jersey, a Paul O'Neill jersey, on top of the green monster. That's a brave man right there. The Angels are losing four to nothing. It's a very sad situation. However, Captain America, our buddy Cap, caught J.D. Martinez's home run off a ricochet off yeah. the green monster. Yeah, he did. And my respect for Cap would have gone through the roof had he thrown, had he thrown that back on the field. He almost did. He, well, he did a pump fake. He did a pump fake, and he kept it. He, he would have gone in the Angels Hall of Fame had he thrown it back on the field from the Green Monster by a Red Sox player. Cap! Yeah. Cap, you got the ball. I got J.D. Martinez's home run ball. J.D. Martinez hit this home run. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. The J and J.D. stands for Julio. And yeah. my name's Julio. Yeah. Julio hit it to Julio. But Cap, I just want to tell you, my respect for you would have gone through the roof had you thrown that back on the field. <laughs> you would have gone the Angels Hall of Fame. Oh, man. It's my first home run ball. I can't do that. Yeah. You have to understand. <laughs> Congratulations, though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cap, the Angels lost 4 nothing. You got the J.D. Martinez ball, though. Sure. I did. Yeah. You know what? It's a dub for me. Not a dub for the Angels, yeah. but don't worry. We'll win the series. Yeah. We'll win the series. Tomorrow's a new day.